Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, welcome to LaGrange, Kentucky. This was a little goal of mine to be able to make it down here and catch a street runner. And that's what we were able to do today. We're here and uh, we're out in this way because we're celebrating Kayla's birthday weekend out in the Cincinnati area. And I told her how close LaGrange was to Cincy. And she said, hey, let's go down there and do it. So we're here to bring you guys a street runner, a rare street running train. As uh, this is one of the few towns that has a full-blown train multiple times a day just go literally right down the main drag so behind me is the rail line itself the railroad crossing and it goes all the way up this way and it goes all the way back down that way through this little stretch of town here that you see behind me yeah lagrange is a sweet little town this is my very first time here and I'm just honored to finally be here and catch a street runner. I'd seen many videos done by one of my favorite rail fanners out there, Jawtooth. He comes here often, and he's usually right in this area here. And as you see, the rail lines just go up and down this main drag here, right through the middle of town. And we're waiting on a CSX train to come through. It's going to be a power move, and it has a lot of uh, construction equipment on it. And, well, what are we waiting for? Wow. That didn't take any time at all. We're here in the beautiful LaGrange, Kentucky, LaGrange, however you say it. That guy is an idiot. Get to watch a little street runner. the equipment that's on this train when it comes by. Little street runner action. construction equipment. So weird being able to stand this close to it.
full freight train right down the middle of the street. There's a locomotive back there. It's either a pusher or a DPU. It's a DPU. Definitely picking up the speed. Just like that. Got a pretty cool street runner. Before we head on out, I thought I'd stop over here at the LaGrange Train Museum. Now, even though it's Sunday evening and they're closed, they do have a few trains you can look at out here, which are pretty cool to see, and the little things that they have around here. So, let me get my mug off the camera and show you around. Yeah, that's their museum there. I love the railroad crossing signs, and look at their hours, hours of operation. Not a whole lot of hours, but it's a small window, but it's an incentive to come back, because I would like to check that out and catch more trains coming through here. But check out what they do have sitting here on the tracks. It's pretty cool. Earnest engine. <laughs> and then they got this old caboose here. And a passenger car. Guess you're allowed to climb up them. They got the steps that come out and looks like they welded extra steps to it so it's easier to climb up. Louisville and Nashville. Love the color blue on this. Looks like you could climb up these steps right here, but obviously it's not going to be open. It's going to be closed for the day. Look at that with the flowers in there. Let's go over here and check out this locomotive first. No climbing. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of, what was that, Percy from uh, Thomas the Tank Engine? The colors, anyway. Still, I think it's pretty neat that they have them on display for you to check out. Alright, let's climb up these steps and take a peek inside.
now obviously we can't go inside and we might not be seeing inside very well either but that is okay no you can't really see in here too well but that's all right and what's cool is it gives you a pretty cool vantage point of the railroad tracks here for CSX that goes out of town where a train had just gone by that you watched and the tracks meet here to form the single line that goes right through town down there I like that they even have the railroad crossing sign lit up. Well, it's not lit up, but they have one here. And I assume it works when a train is going by. I couldn't see it when the train was going by from our vantage point, which was straight down that road there. But I would imagine it works just for the heck of it. But that's awesome. I like that. And it was fun being able to put this video together for you guys. Well, that certainly was fun. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I can't wait to come back here and bring you guys more. This one was on my to-do list for the rail fan type videos. And uh, I definitely want to come back here. And I want to come back when the museum's open so we can go in there, check that out. I don't know if I'll be able to film in there or not, but I definitely want to check that out, even for myself personally. But I want to come back here and get some more street running trains here in LaGrange. And it's such a quaint little town. It's beautiful here. I love it. So, okay, taking off. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that train that went by here, the nice power move with all the uh, construction equipment and regular freight. It sounded like the cars were empty on some, some of them, the tankers, but either way, I was just thrilled to put this together for you guys, and many thanks to Kayla for being cool with us coming down here because we're about an hour south of Cincinnati, and uh, it's just such a pleasant little town. I just wish it was earlier in the day so we could walk around some of these businesses. But I'm surprised what is still open for 7.30 on a Sunday evening. So pretty cool. But hope you, hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. And uh, heck, wish Kayla a happy birthday for us doing this. That's why we're out here in Cincy for her birthday. And uh, it was... Hey, she, she said, let's go ahead and come down to LaGrange and do this. So we got a pretty good capture there. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. And with that said, we're taking off. We don't know when the next one will come through here. And, I mean, it could be an hour. It could be a few. I don't want to wait all night. I'm sure they get several that come through here. But we have other things we want to do. And it's her weekend. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a LaGrange. LaGrange will just stay, however you say it. I know, I still haven't figured it out. I think it's LaGrange. ZZ Top made a song about it, so maybe I'll just listen to how they pronounce it in the song. <laughs> yeah, what the heck. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.